Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome to another fine episode of the Hickory the Drunken Underwhelming Show. I hope all of you had a very, very lovely Mother's Day. Uh, we have a very special episode prepared for you. Um, so what we, uh, we're going to get right into it. It's, it's been a hell of a week. Uh, leaving us off here. Uh, we have a very funny man. Uh, not to mention this week will be our first time with a musical guest on the show, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, sorry, just having a quick Zoom issue here. <laughs> you guys are still there, right? Yep, still here. We're okay. Here. Nice. So we will uh, get right into it. Everybody, welcoming to the stage our first guest of the evening and my fine co-host, founder of the Wall and Milk Comedy Club, Mr. Colin Doyle. Buonasera a tutti. How we doing, everybody? Uh, Quarantino here, going in over 60 days strong. Hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know I didn't. Uh, Mother's Day is an interesting uh, holiday. I didn't get to spend it with my mother or loved ones because I'm still quarantining. But uh, I noticed that uh, this year, and I don't know if anybody else noticed this, on Instagram and Facebook, uh, various young women congratulating themselves on uh, being a proud mother of a dog. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else saw this, but I just want to clarify because I saw this going around. People saying, you know, thank you so much. It means so much to be a dog mom. I'm so proud to be a dog mom, et cetera, et cetera. Number, number one, first thing I'd like to start off with be the point of Mother's Day is not to acknowledge yourself, but it's to acknowledge your mother, regardless of your, if you're a mother. My mother is the mother of three children. She did not congratulate herself on Mother's Day for raising three kids, but she was expected to be celebrated by her three children. She celebrated her mother, who's 89 years old. Uh, being uh, uh, the owner of a dog uh, by no means makes you a mother. Uh, it's just not the same thing as getting pregnant, going through nine months of pregnancy, uh, giving birth, uh, to a child, and then psychologically damaging a human being. Being a pet owner is not a good thing. If you don't believe me, uh, tell your dog that you're going to bring him to the park. Promise your dog you will be bringing him to the park tomorrow. Don't do it. <laughs> 20 years from now, your dog will not be trying to explain that to a therapist. <laughs> I think it's funny because my own mother has told me many times throughout the course of my life how painful giving uh, birth was. And uh, she would often tell me if it's uh, the ultimate one up on you, where she said, well, I was in labor and I did give birth to you. Uh, my sister celebrated her second uh, Mother's Day this past weekend. And after she gave birth, she kind of told me, she was like, Colin, you would not believe how painful it was. I'm like, yes, I would, because I've heard mom talk about it for 30 years. <laughs> I don't think anyone complains for 30 years about how painful something is. And just, you know, for no reason. Like, uh, I've never had my ribs tattooed, um, but I, 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 I'm assuming it is as painful as everybody says it is. Like, I don't need to go get them tattooed to know, like, yeah, it's probably very painful. Uh, I wish I was able to see my grandmother this, this past weekend. Uh, like I said, 89 years old, uh, mother of three daughters. Uh, and I love my grandmother very much. She, she bleeds blue. Uh, if you're very politically uh, uh, savvy and bleeds blue. But my one criticism of my grandmother, she blames everything on the Republicans. And like, there's a lot of <laughs> things you can blame, but like she blamed everything. Like I'll give an example. I remember when George Bush was elected um, uh, after Clinton. And uh, when Bush got into office, everything just started going horribly wrong 
in this country and around the world. And uh, I called Graham a few months after he was in office. And I said, Grammy, I can't, I can't believe this. You know, can you believe what's going on in the world? And she said, yeah, it's funny. Clinton never had a tsunami. <laughs> um, but yeah, Graham, it's kind of a natural disaster, you know. But uh, if we're keeping score, I don't know if the Democrats have ever had a, a pandemic like this. <laughs> um, but like I said, Hickory, I'm uh, very excited for tonight's show. Uh, I think we'll Good get this here, to, uh, moving right along. Uh, if uh, you didn't get a chance to see uh, the special this past Friday night that aired, uh, it's still available uh, online on, uh, I believe, Artistry's Facebook page, uh, Artistry's YouTube page, uh, WCTV's YouTube page, um, as well as uh, on Hickory, the Drunken Underwhelmings. Facebook page. But without further ado, our next performer, Hickory, the drunken and underwhelming. Give it up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For I'm here to perform you a few feats. Tonight, I'm going to use my uh, beautiful co host, Mr. Colin, as my assistant. He's going to help. Well, I got a couple predictions to make here. Uh, so we're going to start, we're going to take out this envelope, try to capture it in there, that there's nothing in there. And I'm going to take my prediction. And as you can see, that prediction is not the only thing in the envelope. We're going to set that right here, set a beer on it where everybody can see it. Okay, so Colin, I'm just gonna have you say stop whenever, uh, whenever you feel like it, sir. Stop. That one or the one on top? Um, you know, uh, wherever you think it was stop. We got a little bit of the lag over here. Um, and, and thank you. All right, well, we'll go with that one. Fine. Set that in there and we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, first, I'd like to show you guys something. One time, it's a magician. Here's a newer magician. Wall well, looks pretty empty, buddy. Well, he may not have been a very good magician, but this is the story of how a magician won $5 at the street camp. You see, Street gamblers just play this game. They still do. People have lost many of fortunes on this game. Uh, it's called the free card money. You know, so you'd have an ace on top. And a joker on bottom. And the other top. So you would take your ace. And they would do the thing. Move it around. So, Colin, can you follow where that ace went? Your uh, camera's a little high. I can't quite see where it went. I'm assuming it's on the left there, um, my oh, left. Beautiful assistant. I'm trying to, I'm trying to angle it just right here. Let's. Uh, there we go. Yep. There we go. We're panning it down. Yep. Okay. So let's try that again. So there's an ace on the top, right? Yes. There's a joker on bottom. And another joker. So take that ace and set it right here in the center. You put a joker on the other side. You can follow me fairly. Yeah. Now, where'd that ace go? Uh, is, the, is it on the left? My left? Well, no, it should be right here, which is what I had said. Yeah, I hear that. Okay. But it turned out that was the joker and I was wrong. He said, no, what happened is it was on the top the whole time. 
because there's still a joker on the bottom. And uh, from there, he was like, you know what we're going to do here? We'll try something different. We'll take He bet me he was like five dollars. Five dollars. And paper clip the five on the back of the ace. And he said, Hickory, I mean just as drunk as you should be able to follow this in class. He said, to make this super easy, we're not even gonna use this here, uh, this joker. We're gonna keep that out of it. So now all we do is we have an ace with a five on it, a joker. You should be able to follow this, right? And I was like, oh man, I know this guy. There's too much proof. I can't, I can't say no. He said, which one is it? I said, well, five dollars riding on it. That might be enough beer to get me started. I flipped that over, and it was the Joker. Oh, he said, the magician should never lose like that. Oh, okay. We'll do one more. So I was, I'm going to ask for your input on this one. Uh, and I'm doing this prediction to show you both of you guys down at the comedy club and Hickory the Drunken Underwhelming has a serious, serious connection to the comedy club. So, Sai, can you see this? Copy. Yep. Now, do any of these cards stand out to you? Is there one that you'd really like to pick? Maybe this one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got one. No, I'm okay. changing. Tell, tell me where... What I'm going through, I'm not even going to work. Go down a little lower. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yep, go ahead. So when I get to the one you want. Yep, wait, now, you just, there he is. Th this one? Nope, the one on the other side. That one. Okay. What I'm going to do is a cool trick. I'm going to find your card here. And, and you notice that none of these cards are the same. All right, that's uh, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. The card's on the bottom. I'm going to cut it in the middle. I'm going to look through it. I didn't really count them or anything. I'm just going to make an educated guess here. That one? Yeah. Dark. Yeah. Which is crazy. Check this out. Those cards are blue. <laughs> Whoa, that... Wait a second here. <laughs> hey. We'll get back to the prediction I made with Colin. This one. There's blue card and a red card. And an empty envelope. All right, if one of those is my card, I'm going to be a little fucking freaking out over here. So, Colin, out of a blue deck, you managed to pick a queen of diamonds. The prediction that I put in there before you picked that card was also a queen of diamonds. Wow. Thank you. Um, I gotta say, just um, uh, what's amazing about this last trick was there was actually Sai and I were in the room here, and there was actually a card that we were looking at that I saw, and I had suggested it, and he said, "No, we'll change it up because that's what you want," and then changed it, and believe it or not, the thing that he changed it to uh, ended up being the uh, prediction. So I'm pretty blown away over here, Hector. I gotta say, I gotta. That's magic, folks. That's magic. That's magic. Uh, so what do you say? Uh, you want to introduce our next guest? He's muted. Uh-oh. He's talking. I don't know if he, we can hear him. No. Can you hear us? Uh, Hickory, I'm, I'm losing you. Can you, hear, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can. It turns out you got to unmute the uh, microphone there. That helps a lot. So <laughs> we can hear you now. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the stage. Our next guest, the first ever musical guest on the Hickory the <laughs> Hickory the Drunken Under Quarantine Show. 
<laughs> Welcoming to the stage, Mr. Silas McFryer of Indigenous Entertainment. Hey, Ooh. hey, how you doing out there? Huh? Oh, apparently we, we had a call in 10 years ago. <laughs> I know. I cleaned up a little bit, but you know, looking good. <laughs> Fucking real good, I tell you. Mm hmm. Fine and proper, my Gucci <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's play some tunes here, huh? How's the camera angle out there? Is it all right? You good? Oh, it's beautiful. Once again, if you haven't checked out the special, you can find it on many places, but if you just actually type in socially irresponsible distancing, it comes it comes right up. Like, who knew? It just, there it is, right, YouTube. You can go through all the this and that, or you just type in those three words, and bam, there it is. You'll see this guy's mean mug right there in the front. I'll call it, boy. So I didn't really practice anything for tonight, so I'm just going to play you a little thing I've been working on here. Well, I've been under quarantine because I've almost had plenty of time on my hands. So, here we go. Oh, I'm spotlighted. That sounds good right there. Spotlight. Here we go. He's attacked by my memories and enemies. Some would throw me another remedy in a dope potion. Oh, so many notions to cast my thoughts like stones of the ocean. On the beach, it's all within our reach. Can't you see? Trying to give myself a piece of the pie. The puzzle, the struggle that I juggle. Running through the puddles of sorrow with my rebuttal. It's a riddle of choice. More than just noise. Come on now, folks. Use your voice. Crazy but clerical, lazy but lyrical. Chill it back, so we bring it for a miracle. Or love it when it rains. Or love it when it rains. My dream, a clever team. Together it seems forever settle the means, the level it brings, the shovel it sings. A broken life hell doing devilish things. Angels sing and the people scorn. Check the weather for you're standing in the storm. Lost and forlorn, all is not hopeless. Look in the work and it comes into focus. We ain't joking, the truth has spoken. Road of the chosen is littered with the broken skulls and bones, and I feel like I'm a jones. If you dip it in the water, you just put in your toes, and the water runs deep.
wonderful. Big shout out to our sponsor, Long Trail. Really fun putting things down here. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now the second Colin Doyle is a hell of a guitar player, I must say. Hey, you know, I've always been saying that. No one else agrees, Hickory. I don't know why that is. <laughs> you know, maybe in another life we'll get to be a musician. <laughs> so, you know, I've been lucky enough to just be able to, like, play them, you know, in, in, in uh, fantasy world. But, you know, maybe in another life I'll come back as, like, the cool, the cool musician. <laughs> Be pretty uh, awesome. Or you can come back as Tom Cruise. Yeah, come back as Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so a couple of questions. I will start off with. I realize you get you guys are doing a ton of open mics and you're putting together a ton of online content, which is amazing. Keeping it going for local musicians. By the way, if anybody who's a musician or a comedian or a magician who yeah, isn't one of those. You could uh, sign up at an Indigenous Entertainment Group. Uh, maybe tell them a little bit about open mics and how that's been going, man. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, this whole thing kind of hit us really fast. And uh, for a bit there, I had a little bit of anxiety about the whole thing. Like, you know, as a gigging musician who's out there working a lot with all of a sudden no work in the near future or the extended future, it kind of left me with a big uh, void to fill. So I uh, typically host three to four open mics a week when things are normal. So I decided to slowly bring them back, um, starting with the ones I do on Wednesday. And it, uh, the concept caught on really fast and people were really appreciative to have that back in their lives, a little bit of normalcy. So I started to do another one on Mondays. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to see people still playing music, even get a little glimpse into like their quarantine world at their house. And uh, yeah, it, it brings me great joy to host and just watch it. And then it definitely uh, brings a lot of positivity into the lives of the artists. So yeah. yeah, it's beautiful for all those people to have an outlet like that and really uh, express themselves. Cause that's the hardest part about performance art, right? Is that once you lose that, you kind of lose some of that, uh, like that weekly therapy that you're getting. Yeah, oh, man, you are not kidding. I was going insane for a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> and you so, turned that insanity into helping a bunch of people, which is fucking yeah. awesome. So thank you, brother. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. I, uh, I had a good friend tell me, she was like, you know, just because you know, you're not working doesn't mean you don't have to go to work. And I was like, what? And she's like, just because you're not out there, you know, doing the thing that you normally do doesn't mean you still don't have a job to do. So yeah. I've been trying to uh, apply that and uh, just. Just keep it rolling, you know? Sick. We need great. artists, musicians, and magicians, and comedy now more than ever. Amen. Yeah, so um, I just like to say, um, you know, to that point, uh, there's a learning curve for everyone, I think, with this. Like, I don't know if these camera angles make any sense. <laughs> 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 I hear cyber world, like, I'm like, Here's Shai, here's Hickory, here's me. Hey, I mean, is. We just totally not make any sense like of what it. we're doing over here. I like it, though. But, so uh, but there's a learning curve. And what's cool to me, I think, is like, um, you know, I was saying earlier, I was, you know, this, I was, you know, just looking for music, actually. And I actually just heard the, that song that Sai's been playing. That's a new song that's like, I heard that streaming, you know, and uh, really enjoyed it. And it's just like, our availability now it's it's cool to see like um these last reflections of just like the last couple of weeks it's just been so fun to see the collaborations around and like seeing like this fact that it's like sometimes we go running and searching for like stuff or people to network with and it's like you actually have a network already and it's just like the network you have just like utilize it someone said to me one time little deep thought here but uh, someone said to me one time, they said, uh, which I love this mantra, is they said, anything in the world that you want, you already know everybody to get that. Just utilize the people that you already know. And sometimes we don't even just slow down enough to be like, I already have the network to like, 
do whatever it is that you want to do, just use that network. Don't just, yeah. you know what I mean? Keep running around looking for it. You know? that, man. I'll drink to that one. Sure. Thank you to our sponsor. It's Coca-Cola Zero. <laughs> Zero calories and all the taste. Coca-Cola. Now, well, speaking of drinking, I know I personally can't wait for the bars to get back open. Uh, not only because I miss being, uh, you know, risking a DUI on the regular, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I miss uh, just going out and, and conversing and having that bar setting. I know that's thing. It's been a tough thing for musicians as well as comedians uh, and the whole community is taking it hard, but uh and it's what do you think it's going to look like when you get back in front of a group of people? Man, there's, there's no end in sight right now, brother. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, people think it's just going to magically, all of a sudden, it's going to go back to, you know, we're going to be back to normal, kind of, or whatever the normal used to be. And it's like, that's, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to, something's going to happen. No, and, and, no. It's, and it's a really crazy thing. But I would like to say this right now, is that we create the new normal. Yeah. And the new normal is going to be is... Available at the Woolen Mill Comedy Club. <laughs> Complimentary mask. We could get a mask and latex glove to every patron who dares darken our doors to laugh in public with strangers. <laughs> Customize Colin Doyle mask. Buy now. Put the link up. All right, put the link up, Colin. Buy these masks now. <laughs> Going out of sale. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. This was the wrong mask. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I got the mask, and we're going to wear them. That's right, folks. We are going to wear them. <laughs> yeah, eventually it's going to be like, oh, my goodness, you guys were so brave. You went to a comedy show where all the chairs yeah. were 10 feet apart, and there's five people in the room. Yeah, it used to take so much more to be edgy, you know, Hickory. Yeah. Now it's going to be like, yeah, dude, you know what I did? I went to a comedy show and I stood six feet away from a person with a mask on. <laughs> Maybe next week we'll hit the mosh pit. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna make it hard for the close-up magic. I gotta say, it's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> We're just full of big options. <laughs> pretty soon, everything that uh, Hickory the Drunk and Underwhelming do will be like last Friday when I disappeared off of a bridge surrounded by water. That's true. You did just off. Hey disappear from a bridge that was pretty magical that was say. pretty cool and you know, i mean i mean the woolen mill comedy club has a lot of things we don't have a bridge yet <laughs> we it's, might need one of those for the upcoming well, show you know that's true mass gloves a bridge <laughs> or we could perform from the top of the bridge and have the people stand down in the river area that seems socially distanced yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna have to see a full full on arenas with like you know a thousand people in them so everybody can stand apart it'll be really expensive tickets though <laughs> <laughs> taylor swift front rows a thousand dollars you imagine what it's going to be after this thing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh you want it to be six feet from taylor swift <laughs> what do you got right. rocks in your head yeah we, we spent about thirty thousand dollars to take it down there to go see her from uh, i swear to god i could spit on her no. i could have spit on her no 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 <laughs> You seen the new specials out now? It's um, watching your favorite shows with celebrities. It's oh. like streaming of celebrities watching TV, and you get to watch your favorite shows with your favorite celebrity. And that's like it, it's fucking Fox on Fox, man. Check it out. It's uh, it's, I it's great. Would love to do you that. Wanna, <laughs> you want to watch a show with Ariana Grande? You can see what she, you know, Desperate Housewives. <laughs> Are you allowed to watch yeah. House of Cards with yeah. Kevin Spacey? <laughs> <laughs> And I'd be like, what type of gay Southern accent were you trying to do here? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, like, do you, get, do you get to vote? Like, how does that whole thing work? Like, yeah, just... I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't quite check it out. I just saw the preview for, preview for it, and I was like, oh, so all these actors, these celebrities are out of work, so now they're gonna start doing, you know, oh, watch your favorite show with your favorite celebrity, and just boom, just like that, you feel like watch their re the whole like like it did a zoom up on like some people laughing like, like, oh, like you can see their reactions and what they think about this show that you love and you're like oh my word there's the future right there this is the future there it is uh, we're, we're fucked <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> people are gonna lose like half their fan base over whether or not they agree with their uh when they laugh the political jokes and stuff <laughs> yeah Wait, you like princess diaries <laughs> <laughs> no yeah probably princess diaries rules oh my god he, he actually enjoyed the ending of game of thrones what a dick. I'm never gonna, <laughs> never gonna watch another movie that guy. How have you made it this long as an actor when you have this poor choice? <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be on it. Oh, getting towards the end here. I'm looking at yeah, we're looking at our time, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want to keep too long. Speaking of which, Ty yeah. is hosting an open mic this evening at Indigenous. Uh, yes, it's an this. entertainment group. Live. Starting at seven o'clock. Seven to ten tonight. We got. We actually got. We, we usually have quite a few uh, uh, new performers, but tonight's a special one. There's most of the lineups new, actually. So. Nice. Good. Yeah, good. yeah. Some people in Hopefully, there. Hopefully, Tom's gonna do a twenty minute spot one of these days. You already yeah. did one, so I've been trying to. He's like, I don't have the material. Well, I'm like. Uh, it sounds like a lot of Does it sound like me? Did I say I don't have the material? I, said, uh, <laughs> I don't have the proper lighting. Yeah. I don't have the proper lighting. <laughs> all right. The angle's wrong. Right. Right. I got the material. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just couldn't get the angle right. Just yeah. like 20 minutes out of the comes, first special. Here comes uh, second plan C. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, uh, to recap on tonight's episode, keep your hope up. Uh, yeah. and I was thinking about this. We need to have like, um, like if you were to find this on Amazon, a description of the show and it'd be like a drunken magical show <laughs> that, <laughs> that like, uh, brings in musical guests, actors, and then random like bits of quarantine inspiration. You know, Amen. I hope everyone is yes. leaving this episode feeling inspired, Quarantina style. <laughs> and uh, thank you for another uh, great episode, uh, Hickory. Uh, thank you for being here, sir. Please, uh, uh, great please, night follow, please follow Colin and the Woolen Mill Comedy Club on uh, Facebook and other outlets. Uh, so a quick plug on your... Uh, yeah, check out um, Indigenous Entertainment. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Um, I'll be putting up a website soon. But uh, yeah, just get in touch. One more to play yeah, you want to do a little... Let's do uh, maybe one more to play, uh, play us out. Yeah, uh, before you go, I will just let you guys know. Uh, please check out Socially Irresponsible Distancing yeah, um, man. on YouTube. Uh, all three men in this podcast they happen to be on there. It was a really fun show uh, featuring a lot of very talented people. Uh, please like Wall and Mel Comedy Club, Indigenous Entertainment, and yeah. Hector the Drunk and Underwhelming on Facebook. Uh, and before you play us out, just remember, stay drunk and underwhelming. Stay safe. Love you, brothers. <laughs> you gonna, oh, am I gonna do this a little? Yeah, sure. Yeah. We're gonna do a duet to get us out of here just because, you know? <sighs> Um, people are strange when you're a stranger, faces are blown when you're alone, women seem wicked when you're unwanted, streets are unneeded. But when you're down, when you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when
Nick. I'll Randy, enjoy it, folks. The man of many talents here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a beautiful evening. We'll see you next week. Later. Peace, Kyle. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys.